And in this key with the E flat, you can only really get two octaves. So there's two octaves. F7 bebop scale from all the, the chord tones of F. Now, the thing about the scale is it's never, it's not a scale that you would choose and pick notes from and land on notes from. That's why I like to call it the flow. Because what I, what I use the scale for is to connect me to other arpeggios that I can choose notes from or different intervallic ways that I can move through. Um, so this leads me to uh, the second page, the second PDF that you should have there. Uh, and this is called, check this out, the microcosmic bebop line. So let me play through the microcosmic. So the, well, before I even get there, microcosmic uh, is a term. Micro meaning the smallest particle, the cosmos being the largest co thing out there, everything. So what I'm suggesting by calling this line the microcosmic bebop line is because to me it sums up all the parts that are important in playing bebop lines in in understanding how chord substitutions work. So from this one line, if you really study this one line, uh, you can understand a lot about harmony and be able to open up your ideas. So remember that this line is just an example. Um, it's up to you to play the line, apply the line, and develop the line. And we'll talk about that more later because I really believe one of the biggest uh, issues in learning the music is, is that it's not a problem with your hands, it's a problem with your mind and, and how do you organize your thoughts and your strategies through harmony. When I see a set of chord changes, I have, it's like a chess game in which I have, you know, maybe hundreds of moves worked out for any move that happens. I, I've trained my mind to be able to see those possibilities and that's where it is for you and, and that comes through not just practicing on the guitar I believe in training your mind it has a lot to do with writing lines and preparing and just thinking about this stuff a lot making the connections away from the instrument so we'll talk about that later in terms of some assignments you can do to develop these lines and develop your ideas and give you some uh, really constructive things to practice so anyway without any further ado here is the uh, most sought after microcosmic bebop line. And it goes like this. If I kept the line going, this isn't on the page there. The line as it is on the page is. line. I have this, uh, hopefully you have this PDF in front of you. I have this line analyzed. So the beginning of the line is a C minor 7 arpeggio, which connects to an F7 bebop scale from the third degree. So A to A. Now when I get to that A in the lower octave, instead of continuing with the bebop scale, I go up an A minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. So F7 9 is in fact A minor 7 flat 5 or you could look at the other way around. An A minor 7 flat 5 is an F7 9. So for instance if you were playing on an F7 chord that means that you could play an A minor 7 flat 5 arpeggio. Again, this is another substitution idea. If I have an E flat major 7 and I play a C minor 7 arpeggio, what the ear hears, the sum of what the ear hears is E flat 6. Um, so the family of four means that these four chords stack on top of each other and in 